Welcome back everybody. It's time to lock down another Sunday booster cracking. Today, it's been a minute. We are back to Force of Will. And we have some Alice Origin here today. A very nice, simple set with some very cool cards to go for. Shakti being one of the main ones to go for. Nice 35 buck card on TCG player, so we definitely want to go for that one. There's also Athena that I haven't gotten in the full art, and that would be a great one to add to the collection. But a nice little jump back to Force of Will, seeing as we've been just focused on other things on the channel as of late and i did skip the most recent set of force of will that came out i did i purposely skipped it it honestly if i'm being real it just looked boring from a collector standpoint since i don't get the chance to play force of will very often i looked at the sets and i just said this looks to be a lot of the same with the game of god stuff uh this whole run kind of was starting to dry up for me with excitement there wasn't a lot going on and uh, they haven't included anything uh, that made it worthwhile for me to want to dive in and find something outside of cool looking j rulers so i decided to say i'm gonna skip it and uh, it kind of sucked because i had been opening them and i i did truly want more from that set but it just wasn't giving it to me but a few weeks ago they announced the new set that will be coming out in august i believe and i'll show a picture of it here the little teaser for it i had to go in a deep dive and see what was in store for us because i said man i really hope they switch things up and make it uh, a little bit better for some collectors and i have exciting news they have secret rares again in the new set coming up in august i am stoked there are at least five secret rares to go for that we can chase for I don't know what they are yet. I don't have the information about it yet, but I'm looking forward to finding out. It is confirmed in the little description on the Force of Will website, and I'll show a picture of it here as well. That was very exciting news. I'm so happy they decided to put back in some secret rares because, uh, I, you know, the most fun I have with this set is looking for those secret rares in the Valhalla set, so I'm glad they're finally doing some awesome stuff with it and as long as they don't go epic of the dragon lord routine where they did these alternate arts that were just like very very vaguely different from the regular j ruler artwork then i'll be okay with it as long as it's not some weird version of that and it's actually some true secret rares with some nice looking artwork that'll be just absolutely fantastic so look for that in august i will begin that set i will be doing an opening of it when it comes out on the release week so stay tuned and subscribe for that video. But let's get into some Alice Origin. The classic set, the small box, which I'm typically not a huge fan of, but that's okay. We've got the nice, what is her name again? Leneth, yeah, the Leneth promo card, which is always looking sweet. It's a nice looking card. And our pack's ready to go. So let's get started. All right, what's in store? I forget what other cards might be in here that we can possibly find. Uh, we got the keepers in the set. That's right. All right. Yeah, those are cool cards. Magic Stone of Scorched Bales. And we got the, what are they called? Uh, the Memoria cards? The Memoria cards? The little reprint cards, which I always thought was a, a nice idea. They did some cool reprints of that. And let's see. We got our rare is the cat. And we've got Phoenix of the Extinct Fire as our rare full art. Hopefully we find some good stuff in here. I know last time I opened this, I opened up that one full art, that like Alistar or something. I forget his name. I'll show a picture of it unless I pull it or something. And uh, it was actually a surprising like $15 card, which was pretty sweet. Didn't have it either. So we've got uh, whatever her name is, the Oracle of Sacred Text, Stranger, super rare. And we've got Glorious Castle Town, normal. Next up, let's keep going. We've got the Keeper. The Gareth, the Memory, the Drag Red Dragon, Scarlet Vision as our Memoria card, Fire Magic Stone, a nice Will Coin, and we've got Rare Berserk Dragon, and we've got a Boros Returned Adventurer as our normal. Cool looking full art though. I don't think I have this one from the last time I opened it. Bang, into it. That back card is sneaking up on us. It's trying to show off what we're about to get. I don't like it. Hymnal's Memoria classic classic wind magic stone gotta love that is a nami that's a great card i think this should be about three four bucks just normal uh but this one in a full art is i think like 15 as well it's a beautiful looking card obviously that artwork is awesome so we got to try to find her in the full art there's a normal burn to cinders bang force of will force of will man it's been like a month and a half since i've opened up a box of force of will and I've had this Alajor. Oh, I love this artwork on Space Time Anomaly. A nice promo card from uh, this artwork. I I've had this box out for a while waiting to film, and I've just been pushing it off and opening other things in the meantime. There's our rare 
a uh, little hard hand dude, whatever. And then we got Romilia, Librarian of Magna, as our rare full art. It's too bad they didn't flavor this set with some nice uh, alternate arts or something. Uh, you know, it doesn't always have to be secret rares, but alternate arts are always nice to throw in sets. It's always a cool little thing. Make them a little bit more common, but not too crazy. Uh, Light of Rays and Revive, super rare. And a normal Life Profiteering Priest dope card. Do some alternate arts like you did with Echoes of the New World. It was a great ratio. You would get an alternate, an alternate art in every box, and they were great. Like, they're still fun to try to find and collect all of them, and it wasn't too expensive, and everybody got a little piece, and it was just something fun. Just to add that extra little oomph, you know? Twin Adder Spiral Rare and Super Rare Blazer Full Art. All right, all right, all right. Blazer's cool. I don't think he's really valued very highly, though. And into it. We did pull the whole stack from the lucky left side here, so we'll see. We'll see how we do, and then we're going to jump into the next side. We got the Will Coin, the Wildering Charm Rare, and Rare Magic Stone of Heat Ray. Okay, I know some sets this one has some value, but I'm not sure about Alice Origin specific. We're going to have to see on this one. I want to say that Bewildering Charm actually in a full art has some value, but I have to familiarize myself with this set again for prices. It's been a minute for me. Mojart, Queen of Fantasy World, dope, dope artwork. Light Magic Stone, Classic Virgin. And we got the Catacus Super Rare with a normal familiar of Promogenitor. Last one from that lucky left side. And I do think I saw something that might have a little bit of promise. Nothing too crazy. Cayuga there, Water Magic Stone, a little token, the Palace of Three Goddesses Rare. And, oh yeah, Ishtar, the Great Goddess of Kindness. The Stranger card, Super Rare in the Foil Full Art. Love the artwork on this one. It's an awesome looking card. And uh, this uh, artist always does a nice job when they come on to Force of Will here. So a really cool one to find. All right, we got the next stack out. Now from the right side, let's see what we can get. Into it we go. Let's see here. We got uh, Keeper. Oh, give me a keep. Do we get the Keepers of the Full Arts in the set? I think we do. Alice the Guardian as a Memoria. And we got Magic Stone Heat Ray Normal with Twin Adder Spiral Rare Full Art. Kind of cool, kind of cool. I think the Dragon Spirals could be a little bit better. Maybe Center, centered a little bit more. Ah, okay, all right, there we go. All right, we got this, we got that, we got the Egg, Burned Cinders, Boros, Profess, uh, oh man, I don't, yeah, I don't, I forget how to say her name. Professor name for the, uh, can't say that one. Dark Indication, I don't know what it is about me and Force of Will and mispronunciations, but always seems to get me pretty good. Blessed Holy Wolf as a normal full art. Bang, bang, we're cracking into it. Alice Little, Whelp, Dragon, Spirit of the Goddess, Cayuga, Rabbit, Princess, Wind Magic Stone, and we've got the Pet of Leneth rare with, ooh, that's a pretty dope super rare light of Rays and Revive. Super rare, I don't think these are the super rares we wanna be spending our full arts on though, and we are limited on those full art super rares, so we gotta be careful. I don't know if we're running low on these. All I'll say is that's not the super rare you wanna be filling that slot with. There are better ones to find and get. Again, that Shakti, I haven't gotten her yet. Sword Eye Master Girl. We got Estema though, Fallen Angel, Desolation, super rare. And we've got Sertal the Blazing Volcano, normal. Bang, 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 here we go. Into the next one. We got Gareth, Memory of Disappearance Spirits. Heat Ray as a Memoria card when it's already in the set. That's pretty funny. That's kind of uh, not necessary. Holy Nova, super rare. And we've got Keeper of Presents for Dante. Now this is a normal, but I don't have this one in a full art. I love these cards, man. Such a nice job with all these future keepers, present, past. All of them look really dope. Next up, oh, oh, we just got a God Pack. We just got a God Pack. Wow, I, I honestly, I don't think I've ever pulled a God Pack from Alice Origin. I didn't even know it was possible, honestly. I know, like some sets I don't think had God Packs uh, from what I understand, but I guess it makes sense. That's crazy. We actually got a God Pack. Let's go. That's that's fantastic. See, this is what happens. I leave Force of Will for like a month. I don't do any videos with it. And then I finally do a video 
and I get something that just brings me right back in. It's like, here's a God pack for you. Remember why you were doing all these openings? Yeah, here's why. Why weren't you doing them now? I, listen, I have no excuses. Uh, I want to be pulling God packs. I want to be getting awesome cards. And uh, Alice Origin just uh, gifted me with a awesome pack. So let's see what we got here. Lars, Knight of the Sacred Spirit. Super rare, full art. Ah, there he is. There's a $15 card that I pulled last time. Alisaris, the invader of God City. Full art, super rare. That is freaking awesome. Now I'm just like crossing my fingers that we get a Shakti here. Oh my gosh. So this, oh, that's great. That's so great. Oh, Izanami, the god of life. Oh man. Okay. Our box is already uh, paid for with this pack. Uh, if you didn't already know, uh, this is pretty freaking sweet. Izanami. I love it. Look at that card. Let's just admire that for a second before we pull into Shakti, the red eye swords master. $35 right here on the God pack. Oh my gosh. That is phenomenal, dude. I got to get her in a sleeve. Come on. Take a look at her artwork. That is so freaking cool. I am so happy right now. Gosh dang. I took this box. I set it aside because I had a little dent today. I said, this is the one. This is the one I'm going to open. And thank goodness I did. We just got a baller God Pack. Super rare again. Crossing point. Never seen this one. Never seen this one. You got to remember, I think I've only opened this once before. M maybe twice. I, I can't remember how many times I've done Alice Origin, but I haven't pulled this card. That is insane. I can't believe we just got... All three of the biggest hits in the set. Bang, bang, bang. Back to back to back. We got Reincarnating Lights uh, Serpent. Nothing too crazy there. We got Oracle of Sacred Text. Stranger Super Rare. And I've said before in the past, I'm not a fan of this borderlicious breaking up of the full art. It's technically still like the full art foil. Uh, but it's not because they got like this crossbar here. It doesn't make any sense. But it's okay. It's okay. Astema in the full art. That's pretty good too. Oh my goodness. That's sick, dude. Oh man. Uh, Azazel, the blazing charger. Azazel looking sweet too. That's sick. We got what we got one more. Let's see it. Opening the red eyes. Super rare. That is a sick card. Shakti coming in to close out the God Pack once more with this other super rare. Her opening up the red eyes. She is a sick character, man. She's got some dope, dope cards. I can't believe this. That is an insane God Pack. Oh my gosh. Leave a like on the video. That was awesome. And we still got a few more packs, so let's just blaze through it here and see what, we, what else we can find. You can't really top a God Pack. Uh, so we got Ishtar again. Just the normal and we got spirits of goddesses normal that's a sick looking card too though and i'm feeling good i'm i'm feeling good right now man <laughs> this is freaking awesome how rare is it to get a god pack in alice origins like like i said i don't i i feel like i haven't heard much about that for alice origins uh sacred spirit and then we got drag the red dragon normal dope one for a normal though all right we got two more packs let's see what else we can do man when i saw that foiling on top of that god pack small assistant marabella classic halloween promo card trying to collect all of those right now too uh we got regalia break for our rare and we've got bewildering charm rare yo that's pretty good too now i could be wrong but i feel like this holds some value maybe five five bucks i don't know we'll see but that's pretty dang good for a full art okay last pack and uh, it's interesting, this was all from the right side. What happened to our lucky left side? I don't know, uh, but right side really did us well this time. So let's open this final one, see what we can get here. Torching the timeline, we got Future Skull, the Whelp Drake, the Avatar Summerlands, Alice Memoria card, Fire Magic, a Life Point, Darkest, Darkest Fire Small Dragon. Wow, that's a confusing name. And the final card, Invasion of Alaris as our normal. That is a beautiful card, though. I'll give it that. That's a really beautiful card. Really cool. Let's just run back over our top pulls of the day. First off, I'm always going to give credit where credit's due to the awesome artwork of the Keeper of the Presence. Very, very dope card. I love this one. And then we've got Bewildering Charm. I am putting these in order of what I think they're actually valued, like lowest to highest. We'll see if I'm wrong or right. But Bewildering Charm, I feel like is a pretty good guess for that like kind of medium range. Uh, 
I think a Stemma should have some decent value, kind of around the same with Bewildering Charm. Also with this girl too, the Orchid of the Sacred Text, kind of similar, probably like five to six, seven dollar range. And then we start jumping up a little bit, maybe to the eight dollar range with opening the red eyes. This is one I'm kind of more or less guessing at, but we'll see. Um, Alvarez, I know he's a fifteen dollar card. Bang, straight away, awesome money. We got. Izanami, bang, $16 card right there. Bang, we'll see how close and accurate I am getting to see to TCG player. We shall see. And then, of course, our biggest hit of the day was Shakti, the Red Eyes Swords Master. This is easily going up for $30 to $35 on TCG player. It's a dope card. Ah, gonna go in my top loader because it's a good one. Wow, can't believe I got a God Pack. That is. That is insane. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Force of Will. Again, we will be doing the new set when it comes out in August, but we've also got a ton of Force of Will products on the wall behind me. So if you like seeing Force of Will openings, make sure to subscribe, stay tuned for more, and leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of sets you want me to open up next. Thank you for staying all the way to the end, and we will see you in the next video.